Hey Dan, thanks so much. 7.38 now on your Wednesday morning. New data from the CDC shows between 2011 and 2021 more high school students felt persistently sad or hopeless. To help parents and caregivers better support their teens emotionally, a new campaign called Sound It Out is helping families connect. Take a look. So this music aims to help teens identify how they're feeling and can help develop coping skills as well. On top of the music, Sound It Out Together has parents' guides for talking about tough topics like anxiety, friendship, even racism. Joining us live this morning to talk more about Sound It Out and talking with your teens is an award-winning psychologist with more than 25 years of experience, Dr. Charmaine Jackman. Dr. Jackman, good morning to you. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, and thank you for having me. You know, it's been a tough couple of years for kids dealing with the pandemic. Tell us what you're observing when it comes to the state of teens' mental health right now. Yeah, so I've had the opportunity to work with young people, adolescents, for over 17 years as a high school counselor. And I can tell you that this is something we've seen come in. It's been a crisis even prior to the pandemic. But what the pandemic did was it drove kids out of their environment of just engaging with their peers, their activities and sports into made for many isolation. And so we're just seeing all the, rep, the, the, the remnants of that now as young people try to kind of get a sense of who they are again and try to figure things out. You know, our mental health is such an important part of our whole well-being. And we have just seen that in the data that you shared. Yeah, so let's get into the Sound It Out campaign, and how does this help young people? This is really, um, it helps young people by helping parents or caregivers first, right? I think, you know, for many parents out there, I'm a mom of a middle schooler, an elementary schooler, and, you know, sometimes having those conversations can be super awkward, and we don't know how to start the conversation. We ask a question, and we get the one-word answer. <laughs> and so the campaign is really aimed at given parents and caregivers tools on how to open up those conversations. Um, as you mentioned, their, you know, their app version of this, that makes it really cool. You know, you can go back and forth with your child to answer questions and answer questions. And I think it just really helps parents to navigate these really hard conversations or awkward conversations in a really cool way that young people are used to and find com comfortable. It's a way that the, it's part of their own language and the way that they interact naturally. So it helps parents kind of get a, a window into that cool factor with their children. Yeah. You mentioned the one word answer. And as the father of a 14 year old, I can I can attest to that. But so what guidance do you have to help parents really have open and then meaningful conversations with their kids? Absolutely. I definitely encourage parents to check out the Sound It Out Together campaign. Um, the Ad Council has also partnered with Pivotal, Pivotal Ventures and Amazon with another campaign called When You Can't Say It, Play It. Um, they use music, so using music as a way to communicate our emotions. Um, my children, we ha I have playlists for each child, and those are ways that we definitely communicate as a way to use music. You know, music is a, such a powerful tool and media. It helps us communicate our emotions. And so, you know, the Ad Council is really invested in making these conversations accessible and relatable and more comfortable for parents and their teens. Yeah, these can be challenging conversations, but ultimately, why is it important to ha talk with young people about their emotions, about what they're going through? Absolutely. I, I love this question because, you know, one of the things with mental health is like, we can go around our day and no one can know what's going on for us inside. And so the importance of talking and having these conversations is one, giving your children uh, the, the tool to identify and name what's happening for them. And secondly, for them to be able to express that to you. And so we can all wear masks, we could be struggling and we could put a smile on our face and people won't know. And so it's so important then, to, that's why it's so important to have conversations. Um, when I meet, pick up my children at the end of the day, I ask two questions. Tell me something that's going well, tell me something that's not going so well. So really building that muscle of being able to talk about the good things, but also the challenging things in their lives. Oh, I really like those two questions. I'm going to use those. those <laughs> that's good. That's good stuff. All right. Dr. Charmaine Jackman, thanks so much for being with us this morning.
Thank you for having me.